all right hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is brian from k hux nation and in today's video is another keyblade war part 3 video where we discuss how to beat the foretellers this time discussing how to beat master ava now just to quickly point out i've been forgetting to mention this in my last and the rest of the foreteller videos but depending on which union you belong to will determine which foretellers you fight in other words whoever is the leader of your union is going to be the one foreteller that you will not be able to fight so if you wish to fight uh that particular if you wish to fight the foreteller that is currently the leader of your union you will have to join a different union temporarily so you can fight them um it is worth noting though that once you beat that quest like where it says part four part three regardless of whether or not the foreteller switch changes if you switch unions the that particular quest will still be shown as completed even if the foreteller ends up changing so like in my case right now I temporarily joined Unicornus just so I can record this video for you guys. Um, and I had already beaten an Era. And this had shown up as already being completed, even though I haven't fought Ava specifically herself before. So just worth throwing that out there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. To be honest, Ava is going to be one of the easier foretellers to fight against. Um, she's going to be kind of in the same boat similar she's honestly yeah she's kind of similar to envy in a way to be like she she doesn't have a whole lot going for her that you have to worry about um whenever she does her big attack she will heal herself uh she also heals herself if you use any magic attacks against her uh, as well as re and she reflects reverse metals which should be pretty easy considering that's at the time of making this video uh most of the best metals in the game are all upright metals so that shouldn't be too difficult anyways for this video i am using my sleeping lion setup i'm just using my pure speed setup this is honestly going to be the easiest setup just because of the fact that all of the best metals in the game at the time of making this video are all in speed speed upright specifically so <laughs> no reason for me not to uh, it's okay if you want to use some power metals too, but I'm using speed since that's where I have a majority of my metals. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a friend metal. Uh, oh yeah, I forget to show my setup. So, just like usual, this is honestly one of my best setups where, just like with my last uh, four tellers videos, all of my metals have extra attack. Um, all the metals that I care about to do damage have minus 60 ground as well so yeah so basically everything except lee and Kyrie have minus 60 ground and that's all you really need to know uh my sleeping line is at level 42 but to be honest you could probably beat ava without being at that high uh and just worth throwing it out there as well because i forgot to mention this in my last few videos is too if you find yourself, if you find your best metal is not doing enough damage, or if they're only doing like one damage against the foretellers, it's probably because of a, of a couple of reasons. A, because of the fact that your Keyblade level and or your sub slot levels are not high enough in order to do enough damage, or you don't have enough minus 60 ground traits in order to do enough damage. It could also be a combination of those two three factors as well so just to kind of depends on where you are in the game so but that's kind of it. it the setup is honestly nothing too complicated just a bunch of strong uh speed upright metals that also increase uh metal strength okay you could probably get away with not having an entire setup full of metal strength uh buffing metals but you want to have at least like a couple in there if possible so without further ado we'll just go right into the battle it's honestly a fairly easy battle All right. You do want to make sure for the sake of this battle, let's get this void spoilers. Um, one thing I do want to point out real quick, though, is that you do want to make sure that if if you happen to be using a Kyrie like uh, like I am in your setup, make sure it has extra attack on it, or at the very least that the that your second metal following up on her, if she doesn't have extra attack, the next metal at least. Uh, provides a good chunk of strength buffs just because of the fact that ava will debuff you sometimes so 
you're gonna need that some uh every once in a while it's either she debuffs you or she increases her defense that's one of the two i don't remember either way you need you're gonna need like a second a second metal to help uh either rebuff or re-debuff uh if needed so in this case starting out she has max defense buff so i'm just gonna go ahead and use my kairi supernova to completely overwrite and get rid of that and then i'm gonna follow that up by another supernova preferably one that has a 280 percent guilt buff uh so in that case i'll use my era for teller metal supernova for that and then from this point onwards i can pretty much just leave it on auto attack and i should be fine Again, you don't want to use any magic metals because she'll get healed by that. And of course, she reflects reverse metals. So you don't want to use any of those either. Unless it's a copy metal, which case it's okay. But yeah, pretty much I'm just letting it, I'm just letting it run. Nothing too complicated. I'll use a... Just go ahead and use a couple supernovas in here to get some extra damage going. Right. Okay, so that was her big attack, and if you notice, she got healed uh, about like a million bars of HP when she did that. Yeah. Was, as you notice, there's nothing really too complicated about this. Just make sure you use a supernova every turn that provides uh, as much guilt boost as possible, and you should be fine. Should be a small attack this time. Yep. Use supernova. Get that guilt boost. I think I might be able to kill it this turn. Not too sure. Yeah, I think I might be able to kill it this turn. Yep, there we go. That's pretty much it. Honestly, not too difficult. It's fairly straightforward. Like I mentioned before, she's one she's she's kind of up there with Envy as being like one of the easiest out of all of the five foretellers. So um it, uh, before I go, it's worth pointing out that if you are part of Volps and you're watching this video, I highly recommend if you don't want to like spoil yourself and watch YouTube videos, uh to watch the cutscene stuff, it is worth noting that the cutscenes for Ava are different compared to some of, to the other foretellers and you might want to watch Ava's cutscene specific right so it might it, it might warrant you to maybe you know transfer units just for like maybe an hour or two or something up until at least you can beat Ava so you can watch the full cutscene so just just a small little tidbit out there in case that applies to you but other than that Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about Ava in the comment section down below. Let other people know what worked for you in case it was different from my video. If you enjoyed the video though, or if you found it helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KHUX Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.